I see man I'm go up with dead by a gunshot. I see blood run like a river. But yet, I'm there, so. Dana, you. How was it growing up in the inner city? Well, growing up in the inner city was rough. I, I, I enjoy some of my childhood, but you know, the garrison, be a violent, war after war. You know, as I look at you, you never understand till they get more bigger. I have, to, I have to keep out of it, to keep a positive aim. A church saved my life. Have you ever get mixed up in any of these violence? Nearly, nearly get mixed up in violence, for being, being known and being seen as a talk figure was very important in my neighborhood, but as I said, a church saved me, Jesus showed me the light. Well, as a youth, peer pressure would have me because a friend, I grew up with friends from childhood days. I know they were gangsters. I never wanted to choose that word of a gangster because I was a known footballer. Before even when I go to church, I wouldn't have a positive aim. But the gang thing, it never cut off for me because I grew up in a good family. Well, the family, and grew up, and I grew up with um, people in different mentality, different from gang mentality. I went to Art Academy, I went to National Youth Service, I went to Wilmot Academy, I, I was a cadet in National Upper Camp, cadet, um, cadet. So I got different friends because I got a choice to choose which company to go into. Okay, then are you most of the youth in the ghetto have a skill. Don't care how bad they are because a lot of guys within the ghetto, them learn a trade and if, if some are a mechanic, some are welder, some are, um, some go up and drive, drive bus, drive taxi. Driving is a skill to me also. Yeah. What skill do you have? Well, I'm a welder by a person. I'm welding for about eight to ten years. And those activities, sports and academics, keep me out of violence. I understand that you're a rapper. How long have you been rapping now? I've been rapping many years, since 1989. Before it was popular in Jamaica, we were listening to music. I was part, we were separated and hang out in Uptown News. So through the uptown news that we inspired, we get to know the rap music. And I start to write in lyrics from a tender age of 16. So why not DJ like all the other Jamaicans do? Why you choose rapping? Rapping is more the American type thing. Why you choose rapping? Well, I choose rapping. DJ was common. Anybody, everybody DJs in Jamaica. DJ was common. But I see artists like Busta Rhymes, Every Day, Salt and Pepper, EPMG, Shined. Most of them are Jamaican childhood and Jamaican brought up from Jamaican parents. No many of those up that I just called were Jamaican parents. So I want to do something different, international. You said you were rapping from 16. Have you recorded? any of those lyric well i was dropping from 16. the music was a popular out here but i know one day the music will go and concern today the majority of people in the population of jamaica which it did know in 2021 rap is very popular have you record any of these lyrics i record two songs for uncut label it's a label from the United States. The producer, Three Eyes, gave me the first record deal. Things never work out, well, but work out right, but I was glad for the experience. Well, I got a lot of materials right. As I said, the music wasn't popular, but it's popular now. I do many church activities, many concerts, many beneficial shows, because I'm a humanitarian by heart. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person of charity. Well, the music 
I got a lot of material right. Some people say I'm the music, I will never make it in Jamaica, but I'm looking forward to go to the United States and do something big to edify my country. Because Jamaican can do anything, anything that Jamaican put their mind to, they can do it. What type of lyrics do you rap? I rap gospel lyrics. Why gospel? I write gospel lyrics because, as I, as I told you before, I grew up in a very violent community. The inner city, it, it's been pretty, but when it gets violent, it gets really violent for a long period. So, I mostly the gospel to, 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 to put out the positive side of the community and society because there's positive people live in the ghetto. Don't think that everybody is gone, man. Everybody is there. Trade man, contact us. Nurse, doctors, lawyers, everybody spring up from the ghetto community. Well, I chose gospel because I want to put a positive message. The gang violence and the gun tune. It, I, I lost many friends from violence. So before I do a gun tune, I think for my friend that died in violence. And I don't go that way because my friend died in violence. Are you baptized? Yeah, baptized. Are you a follower of Christ? I'm a follower of Christ. If it wasn't for the church, I wouldn't be here talking to me. Because I brought two to choose. I had to become a gangster, a Christian. And I chose the, the, the road of Christ. I chose the gospel way. Because the gangster life, it may, sound, it may seem sweet, but in the long run, it's sour. Well, there are people around me that gangsters are not cool. Cause I'm in the inner city the same way. But I can minister to them too, my rap. And I hear my lyrics to give them another side of life. Because exporter is the real thing. Some, some you say export to society or other way of life. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I see, my five, see myself in the next five years, ministering my rhymes, putting out my album that's been overdue over many years. I'm working for the Lord in his, in, in his ministry that he has given to me musically. Well, I want to give a shout out to Markland Edward, Markland Action, that work at Gospel J.A. He gave me the first opportunity to perform on stage at a local concert. I want to give a shout out to my sister Simone Nicole Absalom. I want to give a shout out to my friends that believe in me, that listen to my rhyme, be with me, my day one niggas, and always be with me and give me the support. I want to give a shout out to Ryan Pratt. He always with me through the thick and thin. I'm not a perfect person. I'm not painting a picture of perfection. I'm not perfect. The walk, nobody's perfect. No Christian is perfect. But through His grace and mercy, we try to and try to live up the right way, the positive way. Dana, you tell me five truth about you. This is a talk truth program now. Talk truth, Dana, you talk truth. Five truth about you that the public will never ever believe. Well, fact truth about me. I love my community very much. I take the good with the bad. I don't hate nobody. nobody but what I said, I take criticism creatively. I don't hate nobody because of the love of Christ. One. Five truth about that of you. I got kicked out of Arden in the second farm. Second truth, I leave school with no subject. But I try to capitalize and get put back, study back again, get back in my schooling by myself, self-educate myself. My sister Simone Renee Nicole Absalom, she works at PBC. She's a journalist. The fourth truth, I enjoy doing charity. Five truth, Jesus is real. 
I've been through many situations. I love Jesus with all my heart. And I know that from a personal experience, experiential experience that you would see that somebody love for Christ and the outward and the outward look you would see somebody love for Christ. But I love Jesus in his will. I don't do anything to edify the gospel. Dana you Dana you remember. Mm. Freestyle something for me. Let me hear you boss a rap. From the home predestinated by the Lord, my step is calculated. Set apart only and separated, never participated. But you anticipated, underestimated by the Lord, I be exalted. Humble, let my life shine as a perfect example. By the fruit, you know them. I'm not a bad apple, I bear fruit in the right season. My brainchild is my mixtape, ruminate my rhyme and reason. Theologically, breaking down university locally to the inner city and the wide society. The faith of God is big enough wisdom. It was medium boldly to preach the gospel of the kingdom of faith coming by the end of the word. I'm a Bibleist. I live by the wise words of the proverb, and it's like the rules of the game. Playing every test, moving in Jesus' name. Nobody believes in my dream, it's my dream. If no one believes in my dream, it's my dream. If no one believes in my dream, it's my dream. Christ gonna finish what is started in me. If no one believes in my dream, it's my dream. If no one believes in my dream, it's my dream. If no one believes in my dream, it's my dream. Christ gonna finish what is started in me. Before I die, I plan to establish the ministry. Christ, my heart, I can use me mightily. Break it down, song all with the gospel. Evangelizing across the globe, witnessing, saving soul. Advocate for the Lord. Humanists give it back to the poor. To someone in the suffering, my eyes are sore. The gospel I can't know at all. The little I did with the right resource that could the more. You hear it from the man, Tana you himself. Talk shoot, Tana you. Talk shoot. And the talk shoot program. For all the viewers, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to comment. Talk shoot.